I always wanted to work in hospitals and where I can use my communication skills. That was the one thing that stood up to me is how varied the role is, how many different conditions we see and how many different patients we see. From doing the Berkshire Admin, I really enjoy the way the orthoptics interacted with patients and um, also the diversity of patients that um, they communicate with really fascinated me. Orthoptics is like such a really interesting niche little corner of healthcare, such a fantastic, interesting little corner of the world. I like the fact that the course has different aspects. So you have clinical skills practice and you're able to go to placements. The reputation of the orthotics department in Sheffield is outstanding. I have found the department to be really, really supportive, particularly during COVID. There was a lot of academic support, um, pastoral support. Sheffield as a university is really, really good with students. There's always something going on. There's a lot of societies. Um, there's always something for everyone. It is a city, but you do get the, the vibe of like a small town. It's just a really lovely place, the Peak District, and just the culture has been fantastic. And then I looked into orthotics and found out that probably the best university for of optics with Sheffield, so it's a no-brainer really. I personally love placements. My favourite part about the whole course is the placement. So placements, they are the best and also sometimes the scariest part of the degree. Placements are definitely a daunting time for any student. They're all about trying to solidify that um, theoretical knowledge into a practical clinical setting. You're being sent somewhere around the country, even Dublin or Gibraltar, which is exciting but can be a bit scary at first. But very quickly you should start to look forward to these placements where you're exploring these new cities, seeing these new clinics, seeing these new hospitals. You get to go all around the UK, you get to see different hospitals and different departments and how different departments work and you also get the chance to see extended roles within orthoptics. We normally get to sit in with patients and uh, we can like observe how the orthoptist um, conducts all of the tests and we also have a go at the different tests as well. You just get hands on experience, you get to see patients, talk to them, all their theory comes into practice and it prepares you for what's ahead once you're qualified. My advice would be be able to demonstrate that you have read around the subject, you know what you're applying for and why you want to apply for it. I'd really recommend maybe getting a work experience in the field, so maybe a local hospital or a local centre, so you know you get an idea of how um, orthoptists manage and treat patients. Find your local orthotic department and ask for some volunteer work. Most places will say yes, they'd love to have you. Use BIOS, which is the British and Irish Orthoptic Societies, and they have loads of um, different um, resources. I'd recommend um, doing a bit of research into interview style questions, and also the NHS values, or so I'd recommend having a research on them and just having a read on about them and how they link to the role of an orthoptist. And finally, just be confident. The interview can be a scary thing, but I would definitely recommend demonstrating that you deserve to be here and that you uh, have the attributes necessary to complete the course. I see myself as a specialised orthoptist or maybe perhaps in extended roles. I'm going to work in clinical for two years and maybe start looking into further education, looking into these extended roles. Because it's the beautiful thing about orthoptics, there's so many just extended roles that are happening more and more. But I think now is the perfect time to be an orthoptist. I think I see myself as a specialised orthoptist working with patients. Yeah, I see myself there. I see myself working and making a difference in someone's life. That's the most important thing for me.